Today I'd like to talk to you about a new model to accelerate breakthrough discoveries into medicines called the Harrington Project for Discovery and Development. Margaret Anderson from Faster Cures once said, more than a hundred million Americans suffer from diseases for which there are still no cures or even meaningful therapeutic options. To conquer disease and relieve suffering, we must have a medical innovation pipeline that is as strong and as robust as possible. Today I would like to talk to you about a new pipeline. Please say hello to Natalia. Natalia is a beautiful little girl living in the U.S. She loves the little things that most girls like to love and wants to be an astronaut when she grows up. Now say hello to a protein called NPC1. NPC1 also lives in the, in the U.S and in all people everywhere, but it is nowhere near as cute as Natalia. NPC1 is an intracellular cholesterol transport protein, and what it does what it's supposed to do, children develop normally and have the chance to grow up and become active teenagers and adults. However, when there's a genetic mutation in this protein, children like Natalia develop a rare disease called Neiman Pick, which makes their futures considerably less bright. And now say hello to Dr. Daniel Ori. Dan is a fellow classmate of mine from medical school. He also lives in the U.S. and certainly you can tell he's nowhere near as cute as Natalia. <laughs> but he is a physician scientist working on a treatment for Neiman Pick disease. The chances of success for researchers like Dr. Ori are incredibly small. It takes years of study, innovation, investigation, and huge sums of money to get drugs from concept to commercialization. Thousands of compounds must be screened just to find a single molecule that might warrant further study. And even if a scientist is lucky enough to find that one potential new drug, there is little chance that he or she has the experience, knowledge, expertise, or access to funding required to remove this discovery and this drug through the highly regulated process of clinical trials to protect their intellectual property, negotiate licensing arrangements, and to form a new company. That is why so few new drugs are approved each year and why there is such a great unmet clinical need. In fact, there are more than 7,000 diseases for which there are no cures and no therapeutics. In the U.S. alone, these diseases affect 30 million people. That's one in 10 in the United States. Half of those affected children, like Natalia, and almost 5,000 of those kids will not live to see their fifth birthday. I mentioned that Dr. Dan Ori's chance of success was incredibly small. But as of last year, his chances improved significantly because last year, he became a Harrington Scholar Innovator. Say hello to the Harrington Project, a nonprofit, for profit bioaccelerator that selects investigators and funds them in the Harrington Discovery Institute, passes their discoveries to the Innovation Support Center that we call the Secret Sauce, and then to Biomotive, a for profit company to spin out commercialize and break and make breakthrough drugs. Now this is the problem today with discovery in medicine. We call this the valley of death. 
We have researchers like Dr. Ori who make discoveries, but we have a huge chasm to get to successful medicines in the clinic. The Harrington Project is that bridge from scientific lab to clinical bedside. The Harrington Project selects investigators nationally. It's selecting breakthrough targets. It translates these into drug candidates. It partners to launch new companies. And finally, it accelerates the development of new drugs. So how have we done to date? We now have 95 new drugs in the making, four novel medicines and clinical trials, 20 new companies, and five programs that are licensed to large pharma. <coughs> Why am I so excited about the Harrington Project? Because it has helped me. Several years ago, with the help of the Harrington Project and Biomotive, I launched a startup biotech company called Sejuna Bio. Sejuna Bio is a startup company developing novel monoclonal antibodies for a range of inflammatory and vascular disorders. The company's lead product is in the early phase of preclinical development. But I'm not alone. As you can see on this map, we have over 95 network of innovators, not only in the United States, but around the globe with scholar innovators in, in the UK as well as Australia. This new pipeline for drug development called the Harrington Project is allowing us to accelerate the discovery of new drugs. We would like to change the standard of care, not just deliver the care and achieve our mission advancing the science of health and the art of compassion. Thank you.